Have you ever wondered about the Soviet Union's role in World War II? How did their victories and defeats shape the course of the war? This is a question that has intrigued historians and history enthusiasts for decades. The Soviet Union played a crucial role in World War II, a role that was marked by both triumphs and setbacks. These events not only shaped the Soviet Union's military and political history, but also had a profound impact on the course and outcome of the war. Today, we will be delving into a countdown of the top 10 Soviet defeats during the war. These pivotal moments in history reveal the challenges the Soviets faced and the resilience they displayed in the face of adversity. Understanding these events gives us a deeper insight into the dynamics of the Eastern Front during World War II. So without further ado, let's dive into the timeline of events and explore these pivotal moments in history. Starting in 1939, the Winter War with Finland exposed major weaknesses in the Soviet Union's military strategy and equipment. This relatively short conflict, which lasted until 1940, was a wake-up call for the Soviets. Despite having a superior number of troops and resources, the Soviet Union struggled against the Finnish forces. The Finns, known for their resilience and familiarity with the harsh winter conditions, put up a formidable defense. The Soviets did eventually gain territory from Finland but it came at a high cost. The Red Army's unexpected difficulties in this conflict revealed significant issues with their military tactics and equipment. The world was watching, and the Soviets found themselves facing international criticism for their handling of the war. There were even substantial casualties, shaking the confidence within their ranks. Despite technically winning the war, the Soviets faced significant casualties and international criticism. This marked an early and unexpected setback for the Soviet Union during World War II. Next on the list, we have Operation Barbarossa in 1941, a devastating event for the Soviets. This ambitious plan was the brainchild of Adolf Hitler, aiming to invade the Soviet Union to secure Lebensraum, or living space, for the German people. The Germans were initially successful using blitzkrieg tactics to rapidly advance deep into Soviet territory. The Soviet Red Army caught off guard suffered heavy losses. Cities fell and vast swaths of territory were lost, as the Germans advanced relentlessly. The Soviets found themselves encircled at numerous points, leading to catastrophic defeats and massive losses of men and material. One of the most significant impacts of Operation Barbarossa was the Siege of Leningrad, a brutal blockade that lasted for nearly two and a half years, leading to extreme hardship and loss of life. But despite the initial shock and setbacks, the Soviets were far from defeated. The initial stages of the German invasion led to massive territorial losses and other setbacks for the Soviets. Our journey through the timeline takes us to the Battle of Smolensk and the Battle of Kiev in 1941. The Battle of Smolensk, a major confrontation of the Eastern Front, was a significant setback for the Soviet Union. German forces, fresh from their initial victories in Operation Barbarossa, encircled and cut off a large Soviet force near Smolensk, a city of great strategic importance. Despite valiant efforts by the Red Army, the outcome was dire. The encirclement led to the destruction of large Soviet armies and the loss of crucial territory. This marked a low point for the Soviet Union in the early stages of the war. But this was not the end of the setbacks for the Soviets in 1941. As the dust settled over Smolensk, the Battle of Kiev was just beginning. The battle, one of the largest encirclements in military history, resulted in the capture of over 600,000 Soviet soldiers. The Germans, using a strategy of encirclement, were able to trap a significant portion of the Soviet army in the Kiev pocket. The result was a devastating defeat for the Soviet Union, which had dire consequences for the war effort. These battles highlighted the weaknesses in Soviet military strategy and the effectiveness of the German tactics. The loss of Smolensk and Kiev, two major cities, was a blow to the morale of the Soviet forces. But beyond the psychological impact, these defeats had a tangible effect on the war, the loss of manpower and territory weakened the Soviet position and gave the Germans a strategic advantage. However, it's important to remember that these setbacks were not the end of the story. The Soviet Union, despite these losses, managed to regroup and rebuild. The Red Army, learning from these defeats, began to adapt its strategies and tactics. These bitter experiences laid the groundwork for the Soviet Union's future victories, which would eventually turn the tide of the war. 
These battles resulted in the loss of crucial territory and marked one of the largest defeats in military history. Moving on, we have Operation Mars in 1942 and the Battle of Kharkov. Operation Mars was a Soviet offensive against German forces near Moscow. Despite its grand ambitions, the operation resulted in heavy casualties and failed to achieve its objectives. It starkly revealed the strategic and logistical challenges faced by the Soviet military command. Shortly after, the Battle of Kharkov unfolded. This was another significant setback for the Soviets. The defeat at Kharkov allowed German forces to regain momentum in the Eastern Front. This led to further territorial losses and strategic setbacks for the Soviets, pushing them on the defensive once again. These two events, though not as widely discussed as some others, were crucial in shaping the course of the war. The Soviets' missteps in Operation Mars and their defeat at Kharkov exposed their vulnerabilities and gave the Germans an opening to exploit. These events highlighted the strategic and logistical challenges faced by the Soviets and allowed German forces to regain momentum. Next up, we have Operation Blue and the Battle of Stalingrad, significant events in 1942 and 1943. Operation Blue, also known as Case Blue, was a strategic plan implemented by the German forces. Their aim was to seize the oil fields of the Caucasus and the agricultural resources of southern Russia. The operation commenced in June 1942, and initially it seemed as if the German forces were invincible. They captured key cities like Voronezh, Rostov, and even reached the outskirts of Stalingrad by August, inflicting significant losses on the Soviet forces. However, the tide turned when the Soviets launched a counter-offensive, marking the beginning of the Battle of Stalingrad. This battle, fought from August 1942 to February 1943, is often considered one of the deadliest battles in history. The city of Stalingrad was reduced to rubble due to incessant bombing and artillery fire. Yet, the Soviet forces, inspired by a spirit of resilience, refused to give up. The Soviets, under the command of General Georgi Zhukov, launched Operation Uranus in November 1942, aiming to encircle and trap the German 6th Army in Stalingrad. The operation was a success, trapping about 300,000 German soldiers in the city. The encirclement, known as the Kessel or Cauldron, was a severe blow to the German forces. Despite desperate attempts to break out or to be resupplied by air, the German 6th Army was eventually forced to surrender in February 1943. This marked a turning point in the Second World War. The defeat at Stalingrad was the first major defeat for the German army, and it severely damaged the morale of the German forces. It demonstrated to the world that the German war machine was not invincible. The Battle of Stalingrad was a display of Soviet tenacity and resilience. Despite the initial setbacks of Operation Blue, the Soviets managed to turn the tide of the war in their favor. However, the victory came at a great cost. The battle resulted in nearly 2 million casualties, making it one of the bloodiest battles in human history. Despite the eventual Soviet victory at Stalingrad, these events saw significant Soviet losses and strategic setbacks. Finally, we have the Battle of Kursk, Operation Bagration, and the Vistula Oder Offensive. The Battle of Kursk, fought in the summer of 1943, was a pivotal confrontation on the Eastern Front. It was a clash of titans, with the Soviets successfully repelling a massive German offensive. But it wasn't a clean victory. The battle resulted in significant casualties for both sides, a stark reminder of the intensity and brutality of the conflict. It highlighted the grim reality of war, even in victory, there can be great loss. Next, we turn to Operation Bagration in 1944. This was a Soviet offensive on the Eastern Front, and it turned the tide of the war in the Soviets' favor. It resulted in a decisive victory over German forces, leading to the liberation of Belarus. It was a major turning point, a moment when the momentum shifted, and the Soviets began to push back with relentless determination. It was a testament to the resilience and tenacity of the Soviet Union, demonstrating their ability to overcome challenges and turn the tide of war. Finally, we come to the Vistula Oder Offensive in 1945. This was part of the larger Soviet East Prussian Offensive, and it resulted in the encirclement and defeat of German forces. It included the capture of Berlin, a symbolic and strategic victory that marked the beginning of the end for Nazi Germany. It was the final blow, the decisive strike, that brought World War II in Europe to a close. These final battles marked major turning points in the war. They were not just military engagements, but pivotal moments that shaped the course of history. They led to the eventual end of World War II in Europe, 
ending a chapter of human history marked by devastation and loss, but also by resilience and the determination to fight for freedom. These battles, these moments of triumph and defeat shaped the Soviet Union and the world as we know it today. They remind us of the cost of war and the price of peace.